Hi, I'm Adam Minetti. I'm doing my screencast report for History of Computing, Week 3, the alternate history. The event I chose was the what led up to the 1957 Treacherous Eight, which were eight scientists from Shockley Enterprises that if they wouldn't have uh, defected, we would be reading Shockley inside instead of Intel inside. Now, the man who started uh, Shockley's transistors was William Shockley, who was in uh, 1947 created, uh, with the help of two other people, a transistor. Now, the breakthrough of this transistor was the fact that it was smaller and more reliable than the um, vacuum tubes they were using at the day and the uh, vents they were using to power their old computers which were like light bulbs in, in similarity and with the being that they uh, they went out just as quickly but he invented the transistor now in 1956 because him and two other guys invented the transistor they received the Nobel Peace Prize for that now once uh, William Shockley invent uh, once William Shockley received the Nobel Peace Prize, he sort of let it go to his head, and the company he was running at the time, Shockley Enterprise, Shockley Transistors, which is what, or Shockley Semiconductors, which created the transistor and the transistor radio, which could fit right in a pocket like that back in the old days. But because he won this Nobel Peace Prize, he sort of had an ego trip, which made him start changing his open door mission type uh, managerial skills where there's free exchange of information and you're free to explore what you think uh, we can do you know sort of a trial and error thing go for it let's figure this out who will come up with the next best thing once he won that Nobel Peace Prize he stopped um, he stopped working like that to where hey it's my way or it's the highway because I got the Nobel Peace Prize now what he did that led up and acting like that is what led up to the treacherous eight defecting from him going on to create Fairchild which they figured out a better way to uh, make transistors go faster which they did and they figured out an even different silicone based and then from Fairchild two of their guys defected short five years after Fairchild was going they defected and they created Intel now Intel is what uh, we all know is what's known for creating the first microchip and with the creation of the microchip um, everything changed it was integrated circuits and everything to modern day technologies which is something we all use nowadays now I believe if Shockley would not have had the ego trip when he won the Nobel Peace Prize the eight defectors would have stayed with Shockley Enterprise because they still had that free reign of, you know, hey, I'm going to do this, I'm going to go for it because I think this will be great. This will be big, this will be new. And William Shockley would have said, okay, go for it, let's do it, let's figure it out. Now, if he would have ran it like that, I feel that uh, if he ran it like that, the eight people that defected would not have defected and they would have just stayed with him and today instead of seeing Intel inside we would be seeing Shockley inside and he would still be running his company in Silicon Valley in California but now he's not but I think if he wouldn't have had the ego trip we would be seeing Shockley all over the place more but that is my screencast for week three thank you